Right, this was supposed to be up sooner, but I got caught up with stuff once again. Hey guys, how's it going? Amateur Games here, back with another top 6 Premier League FIFA 19 ratings prediction. Now, if you didn't watch the last video, I recommend watching it. I actually am very happy with it since it was the first video that I had the FIFA 19 design, and also I actually found a way to kind of keep the you know, cards a bit more central as if, like, let's say we have one in the middle, and all of a sudden one's just all the way up the top right hand corner of the screen. But anyway, that's not why we're here. The reason why we're here is because we are going to be doing Manchester United today. And then I swear I will do this tomorrow. I'm going to do all the cards tonight. Maybe even after this video. Manchester City. And then we'll be done. FIFA 19 will be out soon. And then the Road to Glory will start yet again. Not only that, pack openings, blah, 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 blah. But before we get further into this video, as always, if you do like the videos, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment below, show your friends, I like your stuff. But now, let's get into this. Let's start off with by far that obviously I think this guy will be the highest rated Manchester United player next year it is of course David De Gea. 37 appearances, 19 clean sheets, 24 wins, only 7 losses. He made 115 saves, he didn't save any penalties, 6 punches, that hand high claims 6, 12, catches 10, sweeper clearances 6, throws to 47 and goal kicks of 290 easily the best goalkeeper in the world I'm boosting up by one to a 92 and I boost the most of the stats except for one handling handling's already high enough stat I would have boosted if he didn't have such a poor world cup now I'm not just saying like he did maybe he did okay in some parts but like overall just Spain in general just didn't have the best world cup especially like, that chance against Ronaldo where he absolutely just fumbled it into the goal so apart from handling everyone else's everything else per, eh, can't talk everything else is pretty much get boosted and he will be the highest rated goalkeeper in the game next year maybe apart from icons but like like you know normal card because I if you ask, are going to ask me I'd actually put Neuer back down to a 90 because he didn't play at all for Bayern and then if you think fucking I'm saying De Gea didn't have a bad World Cup. No year in Germany just had a fucking shit World Cup. They finished second bottom. Second or even bottom. I think it was bottom of their group. Yeah, but they finished bottom of the group. What the fuck? But anyway, David De Gea, 92 rated. Highest rated goalkeeper in FIFA 19, apart from icons. By the way, if you're asking what way this is, like I said, guys, I'm going by your latest <laughs> lineup. Like that brilliant lineup against Brighton. <laughs> Uh, like, I still find that fucking funny. Anyway, enough of that. Um, enough of that, anyway. Um, let's go on to the captain, Antonio Valencia, who's actually going to stay his rating, except I downgrade one or two stats to boost the others. I think I downgrade his pace, but I boosted his defending and his physical. 31 appearances last season. By the way, give him, I gave him a big shooting upgrade because some of the goals he scored were mad. And also, give him a weak foot upgrade because he doesn't have a one-star weak foot anymore. He actually scored a banger on his left foot. And that uh, we, one star week foot means pretty much he has no other foot. 31 appearances, 3 goals, 1 assist, 14 clean sheets, all you really need to know. He's not like the most creative, he's basically, he's not a, like a fullback such as Robertson. He's not a guy who just like attacks on defense. Well he does attack as well, but like he's pretty much like a defensive right back and I appreciate him. He's a... He's done very well actually to revive his career, along with another guy who will be in this video, you probably already know who it is, he's another fullback. Um, yeah, Antonio Valencia though, did very well, right mid, looked like he was going to be sold, then he got moved back into right back when Josie came along, and then everything went well from there. So overall, Antonio Valencia, you're staying at your rating, and overall still one of the most overpowered right backs in the game next year. Now let's get into my favourite part about this video, the ship players. First of all, er, I just want to say Eric Bailly is not a shit player. It's just that he was injured a lot. And sometimes the games he played weren't very great. 13 appearances, got one goal, seven clean sheets. It's actually very well. But here's the thing. I'm not just, like, at Valencia, I highly rate. And I'll just say Ashley Young as well, he did well. But everyone else, even Luke Shaw now, who's also in this video. Um, if it wasn't for Dav De Gea, if it wasn't for him... You'd be probably in fifth. I'm sorry. I fucking hate United, but I'm an honest football fan. If it wasn't for Dav De Gea, you'd be about fifth. Doesn't matter how many goals he scored. If it wasn't for him, he would have conceded 
an unimaginable amount. Irk is getting a downgrade not only because like he's been dodgy every now and again, but as well injuries, not playing games will drop you down. He'll still be probably the most one of the most overpowered centre back in the game, but a minus one for me, make him an eighty three, he'll still probably be a board next year. Now this one I actually find kind of sad because I thought he'd actually do well when he joined Manchester United. Especially because Ibrahimovic was the one who brought him in. It's Victor Lindelof. Now, sadly, it's just, he hasn't performed, has he? It's 17 games last season. Only five clean sheets. Also, not to mention the fucking mistake against Brighton. No, not Brighton. Huddersfield. Just... He's just not good, is he? He's not able to fucking defend very well. That's why I'm dropping him down from a 79 to a 77. He's just, he looks, his passing sloppy. He's looking slow. He gets out muscled off the ball. He's being beaten in the air. His defense, he always like rushed into tackles. I'm sorry to Victor Lindelof. I actually like you. You're still very young. You could probably change this round, but you're getting a minus two for me, mate. Now some of these I actually think I was I might have been harsh, but then I'm thinking, oh no, maybe I'm not. But then I think that maybe I am. But I decided no, this is the way it's gonna be. Luke Shaw's getting a minus two. Obviously I can't help that he's getting injured a lot. I feel really bad for him, not to mention him getting bullied by Jose Mourinho as well, it's just horrible. Uh his first game of the season this season he scored, but then his goal obviously didn't wasn't enough, especially last time, like he hit a shot. I think he hurt himself again, but I think he's okay helped Lukaku score he got an assist but like he's just not he's not good enough either though like even against Brighton the whole defense was just shocking he was definitely one like I couldn't see him at all for Shane Duffy's goal like I know there were so many people in the box but like he you think full backs I know center backs are supposed to do it as well but like they're like fucking Lindelof and Jones are a bunch of idiots you're expecting the full backs to be able to come in and get the ball Shane Duffy was on his side he was nowhere to be found. Not only that, he's just not good enough, is he? 11 appearances, 6 clean sheets. It's alright, but like... I just don't think he's good enough for Man United anymore. He'd rather be good enough for maybe an Everton. Or... Maybe a Watford. No, maybe not. Watford have actually done fairly well. Um, think of more mid-table teams right now. Anyway. Um, Everton, maybe... Oh, geez. oh, for some reason I'm drawing, I have a big blank here. It's Leicester City type of player. So sorry, Luke Shaw. I was only going to drop you by the one, but I'm going to drop you by the two. Lack of game time and lack of performances means that you're going to get downgraded. Now, some of you will probably be saying I'm doing this because I'm going to I'm not. I'm trying to be as brutally honest as I possibly can. And this one, I'm leaving that. I, like, I actually don't think he deserved the upgrade when he got it, but Paul Pogba, second half of the season, did quite decently. Then in the World Cup, he had an amazing World Cup. He was so good. That was Paul Puck we've seen at Juventus. That's why I'm boosting his passing by one and the defending up by two. Because if you give Pogba the freedom to play, to move around from centre mid, camp and CDM, instead of George Mourinho, right, like, okay, you're going to play centre mid. You're going to play CDM. No, that's just not what Pogba is. He moves around. 27 appearances last season. He got six goals and 10 assists. I actually didn't know he did get 10 assists. Holy shit. That's really, really fucking good. But I personally think he didn't deserve the upgrade at the time. But now I'm thinking he's just going to stay at 88. I actually did not know he got 10 assists. 27 appearances as well, so 16 goal contributions. Um, that's pretty fucking good, actually. Holy shit. Um, well... Well, no, 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 no. I'm keeping him at the rating as he is, obviously. He's not getting boosted. But Paul Pogba, you definitely deserve that rating. Not only for the strong second half of the season, but because of that brilliant World Cup. Now, we have Manchester United's newest signing. I believe he's the newest signing. It's Fred. Now, obviously I can only judge him off two primary appearances. First of all, he's a dirty bastard. Because what he did to Leicester, that Leicester player, I can't even remember who it was. It might be Morrison. Just completely on the ground. He just bang, hits him right at the back of the leg. He's a dirty fucking player, but for, apparently from what I heard, a Shaq there, he did barely fucking well, so that's why I'm giving him an upgrade. Not to mention, EA do tend to upgrade these players when they get a big move. So he's getting boosted all the way up to an 81. I definitely boost up to physical for two reasons. One, I actually think he's quite strong. And two, he, his aggression, because he's a very angry player. Boosting up the pace, boosting up the dribbling, and I think it boosted up the passing as well. 
Now, two years ago, this guy, I believe, was Manchester United's Player of the Year, but sadly, his performances have kind of dwindled a little bit. It's Ander Herrera. He was able right at the beginning of this FIFA. He started less and less games, and I'm going to be honest, his defensive duties have become a bit worse. Like, his passing's a bit more sloppy now. He's just, like, jumping into tackles. He's not as good as he was that season, especially with that game where he completely controlled the game against Chelsea. Um, so I'm going to only drop him down by the one. Obviously, I don't think he has deserved to be dropped down by the two. 26 appearances last season, got zero goals, two assists. But I just don't think he's good enough to have an 84, considering considering people such as, what's his name? From, oh, I can't remember. Jeez, I always drop blanks when it comes to this. Considering at the beginning of the year, even though like he's high right now, Fernandinho was lower rated than him. And I know like the season before he had a great season, but like then he he just kind of fallen off a bit. He's still gonna be an 83, which is still a very very good player, but just not as good as he was two seasons ago. I feel very sorry for this guy, because I think he's a fucking brilliant player. Probably not as good anymore because of his age, but he just can't go with Jose Mourinho, it's why matter. 28 appearances last season, he got 3 goals and 5 assists, considering a lot of them were also off the bench. And he's being played out of position. He's being played on the right fucking wing, for God's sake. Jose, listen, this man is a brilliant fucking player. He was a Chelsea player two years in a row. He's able to get you about 10, maybe over 20 goal contributions a season. Probably not as much anymore. He's also linked with Valencia. Not sure how that's going on, but played against uh, Brighton, I believe. I'm just, I feel really bad for him because he was such a good player, even against us, like... I think it was two, three seasons ago now. I think three seasons ago. He's got a bike against us. He, Man United actually destroyed us. Uban Hall did that. And it's just sad, really. Like, one match is such a talented player. It's just a pity. So I'm dropping him down to, I think... Did I, did I drop him down? I actually can't remember if I did. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just... Get, just give me, give me, give me. Give me a second. Give me a second. I have his thing here. I just... I really can't remember if I did or not. Come on, where is he? Fred. No, oh, that's Herrera. I really can't remember. I hope I didn't fuck up here. Yeah, I did. I boost. I dropped him down to an 83. With lowered pace, obviously. Lowered physical, lowered defending. I kept his dribbling passing the same because I feel like those are probably his best qualities. And they still probably are. But sadly, Juan Mata, you're playing less games. You're going to play the opposition. You're still doing okay, but just not the level that you're... You know, you're capable of. And I know you're capable of... I personally think if he goes up to Valencia, he can really find his form, maybe become not a late bloomer because those are people who, you know, get start like to burst onto the scene at the end of career, but like maybe get his old form back at the age of about 30 or 31. All right, this one I kind of find funny. Um, this guy was making so much fucking fuss on January of last year. And he was apparently going to move to fucking Man City. And I think they were there offering him about 400,000 a week. But then Man United swoop in and decide, yeah, yeah, we're just going to give you 500,000 a week. It's Alexis Sanchez and he's going to downgrade. Now I know, I know he's only been there since January, but is this... What the fuck? <laughs> okay, let me just double check here. Right, so it's on here. Sorry, like this is including like his move to Arsenal as well, right? 31 appearances, 9 goals, 6 assists. Right, that's good. But now, let's look at how many of them were for United, shall we? Let's take a look here. Manchester United. How do I find this? Uh, let's see here. Overview. Overview. Is this it? Let's look at his Man United time. Here we are, Manchester United. <coughs> 13 appearances, this including this season. Two goals. Two two goals. This guy costs, with McTarnham's worth about 30 million, with like six months after a contract. 40 million. He's getting paid half a million fucking pounds a week, apparently. And in 13 appearances, you know, he starts most games. He gets you two goals. Like, I know the negative football, it's negative football, like, like, Jose can play good football, but like he just chooses not to. But it's just no, he doesn't deserve to be an 89 rating. Only boost him down by the one because it's January. But the dribbling's going down, especially the pace is going down, the shooting's definitely going down, the pass is going down uh, by two because 
he, I believe against his first game, well, I think it was actually against Brighton, I think he gave away the ball like 13 times or something like that. Anyway, Alexis Sanchez, maybe you shouldn't have left Arsenal because you were the main guy, you were playing better football, but now that you're at United, you're not the main guy. Pretty much sure De Gea or Pogba's the main guy, or maybe you're Lukaku, who's coming up next. And you're just not, you haven't been good for them. I'm sorry, you just haven't. I actually think I'm making good time for this video because considering I'm not talking super fast and I'm just getting my points through. Now the last guy who's actually going to get an upgrade, Man United, you finally get an upgrade after a long fucking time. It's Romelu Lukaku, but you can call me Tank. 34 appearances last year, he got 16 goals and 7 assists, pretty good. They paid, I believe it was 70 million, but then it's like 20 million on add-ons if you got a certain amount of goals. I think it was like plus 20 or something like that, I don't know. Uh, so overall it's a good season, he also had a decent World Cup for Belgium, I don't know if he scored too much but still pretty good, like, and also 34 appearances, how many goal contributions is that, just let me do my maths, 23 is not too bad, considering it's his first season at Manchester United as well, I think he might do better this year, maybe he might get 18, something like that, overall though he's going to get 87, boost that pace up, definitely boost soon, and the main stat that's going to get boosted is that physical, because 84 physical from Manu Lukaku is just a bit... Just, it's not right. He he has the strength, the aggression, the stamina. That it just it should be at least the same as the shooting. Now my favorite part, the bench, because I can go through this really quickly. So the first person, let me just get his stats up. I'm pretty sure actually he didn't make any Premier League appearances last season. I'm pretty sure it's backup goalkeeper Sergio Romero. Let's just take a look how many appearances he made last season. Overall for Man United, he actually made 7 appearances with 6 clean sheets. Right, at 2017-18. 1 appearance, 1 clean sheet. I don't see him play for Argentina either. Like, it's obviously sad, like, you know, he didn't get, he got injured, it's a pity. But also, when you're not playing, he's getting older, you're going to go down. So I'm going to go drop it down by the 1 this time. Now, I know some people probably wonder, where's Pereira, the guy that's actually playing? I... I found it hard, okay, because if I kept up this player, then people would say, where's this guy? I'll name out the bench right now. It is Romero. I'm going to have to try really hard to remember here. It's Romero, Ashley Young, Phil Jones, Fellaini, Rashford, and Martial. And then star 11 is De Gea, Valencia, Lindelof, Bailly, Shaw, Herrera, uh, Pogba, Her um, what's his name? I already just talked to him. I said his name. Fuck's sake, I hate when I do this. Herrera. Pogba. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Fred. Jesus Christ. Mata, Sanchez, Lukaku. Uh, I just don't know why I couldn't think of this guy. Anyway. Ashley Young. This, this was the other guy who I said rejuvenated his career at the very, very fucking end. Like, I actually can't believe this is the same. Ashley, why are all these fuckers here? Oh, of course, there's a sort of guys called Young. Hold on, give me a sec. This is one. Ash Lee. Hold this one, that right? Ashley. Here he is, Ashley Young. He got to use these well with and he had a decent World Cup. And actually, did he have a decent World Cup? I can't remember if he played for England. I think he did. I think he did play for England. Alright, so because I know Trippier was that right back anyway. Right. Jeez, he has 320 Premier League appearances to his name. Holy shit. Right. 30 appearances last season, got 7 goals and 4 assists, that's, no that's clean sheets, oh sorry, 7 clean sheets, 4 assists, 2 goals, that's pretty fucking good for a left back, like I said guys, I already said this before, if you can get 4 or 5 assists for a full back in the Premier League season, that's pretty damn good, so Ashley Young, you're going to boost it up from a 77 I believe, to a, I believe it's a 79 I'm boosting you up to, it's a, I'm pretty sure it's 79, hold on, I, Jesus Christ, I got so derailed by this, <laughs> I just want to make sure, um, there's a download, Young, 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 where the fuck is it, Ashley Young, Ashley Young, Ashley Young, Ashley Young, where's Young, oh that's Valencia, where the fuck's Young, I must have gone past him, no, anyway, no, I'm not going to get caught up with this, Ashley Young, is going to be boosted up to a 79, if I'm wrong, then shit, I, oh, I swear, if it didn't download, right, so let's see here, uh, sorry about this, it's just so fucking annoying. Why is it not so cool? Oh, here it's young, yeah, 79, I was right. Right, next player. Jesus Christ, that took fucking forever. 
I love 4 4 tunes. Hopefully, you guys know and you love 4 4 tunes as well. So, this is probably my Phil Jones impression. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, Phil Jones. In the beginning of FIFA 1879, and he was very slow, then he actually could have played the ES and he was too slow because he was actually playing right back in time. Then he got boosted up to an 8 1 because he actually did, did make a few decent appearance games. Then, near the end of the season, he just turned into Phil Jones again. Inconsistent and shit. Especially in the FA Cup final where he gave away the penalty against Housie. Um, 23 appearances, 15 clean sheets, like I said, De Gea. My United fans, you should be so happy for him. Um, he's not going to get boosted back down to a 79. I was really fucking tempted. I actually had him at 79 once, but I'm like, uh, damn it, the amount of hate. So I'm only going to boost him back down to the 80. I really want to boost him back down to a 79, but I feel like 80 is enough for the time being. This player annoys me so much because I wanted so fucking badly to upgrade and my knight kept so fucking close to selling him time and time again but because he makes a few decent games and scores a few crucial goals they decide to keep him fucking Fellaini fucking Fellaini 16 appearances a lot of them off the bench 4 goals he's a CDM I want to downgrade him I really fucking do but uh, a lot of the appearances were off the bench, he scored goals, he didn't get any assists, he does his job. He doesn't do it incredibly well, but he does his job. He's staying the way he is. I wanted to downgrade him, but for some reason I just couldn't. It's a pity I have to downgrade this guy, it's Anthony Martial. The thing is, the reason why I downgrade him, I have two reasons. One, he's getting benched a lot. And also near the end of the season, his performance is dipped because maybe lack of motivation. Two, he's not getting played in the right positions. Left mid and strikers are his positions. He only got played there a few times. He got played on the right, and he got played in, I believe, in the centre sometimes. 30 games, 9 goals and 5 assists. Majority of them were before Christmas. The majority. <laughs> and it's, it's really sad. I feel like he should move to a club, like maybe in France, La Liga, Syria, windows closed. Uh, Bundesliga, somewhere like that where he can develop. I really rate him. It's just, it's really sad that he's not getting played as much as you'd want him to. It just really is. Now, I might get really shouted at here because of this. Considering I downgrade Martial, the, the re... <sighs> and then you're looking at this saying, how... Like, some of you might be saying, why isn't Marcus Rashford downgraded? And the reason is, Rashford made more appearances and more starring 11 appearances. And surprisingly, he did worse. 7 goals and 5 assists compared to Martial's 9 and 5. But the thing is, Rashford just... He's playing more and he's an 81. He started off at 79. It's it's so fucking difficult because I was very tempted to leave Martial's reign. Another thing as well, I'm... Not 100% sure about this. Did Rashford go to the World Cup? Well, let me look up. England. I'm pretty sure he went to the World Cup. World Cup squad. World Cup squad. 23 man squad. I don't know. <sighs> I just feel like because he's getting played more, he's favoured. That he. Well, do I not imagine he had his own individual signs of brilliance? Well, Martial like, had one or two goals. Right, let's see here. Pickford, Lingard. Oh, I forgot Jesse Lingard. Oh, no. I forgot Jesse Lingard. I'm so fucking stupid. I always forget about these fucking players. Yeah, Rashford made it into the fucking England squad. I can't believe I forgot about Jesse fucking Lingard. Oh shit. You know what? No, no, I, I'm not forgetting about Jesse Lingard. I'm not. I'm going to make his card. I'm going to make his card. It's getting boosted. But anyway, Marcus Rashford, you're going to stay out your rating. You're still. I don't think he is as good, maybe, as Martial, which is why maybe Martial's is still a higher rating. But please let me know what you think. Who's better, Rashford or Martial? I'll leave a poll up. I just. I feel really bad. Like John Gray, Martial, and then leave Rashford as rating. I don't know, guys. It's really fucking tough to do this. 
I can't believe I forgot to include Jesse Lingard. It's just that for some reason Fellaini popped into my head. I don't know why. He probably doesn't even he probably isn't even on the bench. Oh, it's so annoying. And also the Marsh yeah, the Rashford thing is just fucking with me right now. It's just fucking with me. Like I said, leave in the poll or the comments up below who should be higher rated or should anyone have been downgraded or should have anyone been upgraded. Jesse Lingard, in 33 appearances last season, he got 8 goals and 5 assists. Considering the first few games he started out on the right is impressive, but then Ferguson said he could peak at the age of about 25 or 26. He was right, he did brilliant last season, especially when he got moved into the centre attacking midfield role. I'm going to boost him up by 1 to the 81. The pace is going to get boosted, the shoot's going to get boosted fast, the passing and the dribbling. I'll leave the defending and physical the way they are because I feel like they're fine. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did like the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment below, share if you like this stuff. The Manchester City video will be out tomorrow, I swear. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, see you next time.